Hey guys, it's Mark here. Thanks for watching. Now as a web designer, I've been doing web design for about 10 years now. I've used a lot of applications during my time and I've paid for a lot of subscriptions. And I've decided, you know, starting this year that I was going to put Adobe to rest. I was not going to subscribe to it anymore because I'd spent like $29 every month for the last year and a half or however long Creative Cloud's been good. And I just decided enough is enough. I'm going to go and seek out the apps that I need. I'm going to find alternatives where I can actually own the software and not have to purchase the rights to use the software every month. So please um, note that this is software I've purchased, not downloaded illegally via torrent sites. You know, I think um, there are a lot of people that do that. Um, I think it's morally wrong. Um, you pay for the hard work that developers and programmers put together in these wonderful um, programs that we use every day. Uh, they definitely need to get paid for the work that, that they've done, the hard work that they've done. And um, the first one that, that I use every day is Affinity Designer. Now Affinity Designer won the App of the Year 2015. Um, it's pretty much a equivalent, sort of equivalent to Adobe Illustrator. Now um, it's basically a vector-based um, graphics program like Illustrator is and it is a, I pretty much use it for my wireframing. I sometimes do wireframing in it, but mainly for the mockups and designing logos if my clients need, or if I need to design a sort of graphic, etc. It's super easy to use and it's really quick. It's a lot quicker than Illustrator is. And I found that it doesn't. Now, look, I don't have the best MacBook around. But I just found it really a hell of a lot quicker than Adobe Illustrator. And I think it's got everything that I need. The only thing I did find that it was lacking was the tracing option that we that I use quite a bit for vector graphics. Um, and they don't currently have it now. I think they might be putting it in in future um, editions. But um, it's really good value for money and it does everything that I need from the software. For graphic designer, um, they do claim they are professional graphic design software for Mac. They might say it's limited. For me, it's exactly what I need and it was worth every cent paying for it. Now, I think I bought it for, because I'm in South Africa, I bought it for $999, uh, 999 Rand. Um, so I'm not 100% sure um, how much that is in dollars because the rand is fluctuating so much of the dollar, it's every day is something different. So that's my first piece of software. Good news for guys on Windows is it looks like they've created a beta version, uh, a beta version uh, for Windows. So um, check it out. Um, I'll leave the um, link of the software in the description. Now I did mention that um, the one thing I was missing was an auto trace. So there's a little um, Mac application, uh, Mac app called Image Vectorizer. So this is my second sort of favorite application. It's uh, very small, very simple to use. You just drop a graphic in here. So you find a um, one thing we can do here. Um, if we just drop in the, this image here of oh, Batman. Now look, I mean, if you're going to use really, really complex ones, it does battle a little bit, but you can adjust the settings. Um, so you can adjust the uh, corner threshold. You can suppress them. Did all black, white, left or right. It's up to you. Um, 
And then you can export the vector as a SVG file, a PDF, an EPS, and a DXF. So that's the sort of basic tracing option that I would use. Um, the more complex your photo is, it does tend to battle a little bit, but um, it's it's um, pretty good at the moment as an alternative. You know, hopefully uh, the guys at Affinity Designer will add that into the next release. Okay, the next one is um, is an old favorite uh, is Pixel Meta. Now, Pixel Meta uses an alternative to Photoshop. I don't need all the masses of different options that you have in Photoshop. I just need the basic sort of options. Um, and this pretty much does everything. Um, you know, version 3.5 is out at the moment. And um, there's some really good options. Uh, like, for instance, the Move tool, Selection tools, um, or Painting now, Retouching. Even got vector tools in here. I haven't used those yet. So there's some really good options, um, you know, that that you can use effects, different effects. You can use layers. If you import a PDF um, layers from a, I mean, not a PDF, a PSD layer, PSD file, it will maintain the layers. So you can import that, you can edit it, and you can save it. Um, if you want to. So it does pretty much everything that I need it to do. Um, and it's um, a really, really powerful piece of software. And um, they always bring out some really good features, um, trying to keep up, obviously, with Photoshop. Um, but I mean, at the price that you pay, it's well worth it. At the moment, it's $29.99 uh, in, the, in the App Store. So, I mean, you know, check it out. It's well worth it. I'll just uh, show you, just open it up. And that's pretty much what it looks like. You can enter into full screen, etc. Well worth a try. Um, check it out. The next thing I use is um, for an, as an HTML editor. Now, I bought it a long time ago. It was a lot cheaper than it is now. Um, is Espresso. Now I know everyone uses Sublime Text 3 or whatever. I don't necessarily need all those features in Sublime Text 3. Um, I've purchased the software so I've just decided to carry on using it. I've used Sublime Text um, 2 and Sublime Text 3 now and it's a great piece of software. I think it's roughly about $50 to license it. Um, you know I've bought Espresso and so I just use it as it is now. I don't um, have any need uh, at the moment to move on to Sublime Text 2 or 3. So I use it. It's super lightweight, really um, easy to use. Um, and you can Im implement stuff like Emmet and uh, there are some plugins, etc. Um, they haven't carried on doesn't seem like they've carried on much with the development of it, but it's still a really good um, HTML web editor. Uh, the next thing I use uh, is the Pencil, Pencil Project. Now, Pencil Project's free. Um, basically, you use that for wireframing for clients. Um, and uh, I mean, it's just super quick and easy just to add, drag stuff over. You can sort of adjust whatever you need to in here. Um, and then you can move it around. It does alignments as well. So it's super quick, super easy. Now just remember, it's just a wireframe thing. You're not going to get a full-on design like you would do, like I would do, for instance, in Affinity Designer. This is basically just wireframing to show your client where you're where your head's at and what you've got in mind for the design. Uh, you've got some different libraries in here. Um, yeah, different collections in here. So common shapes. 
um, widget, different types of widgets in your native UI widgets. So you can mock up, for instance, for an iPhone. Um, so if you just open the document up, and you can also create um, create pages as well. So you can create a new page. And um, yeah, as I say, it's super simple, super easy, and um, and it's free. And um, they're already doing a, a beta version, a beta version of um, Pencil 3, which is starting to look quite good, which might add more than just wireframing to it. So just keep, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, if you do wireframe in at all. And then the last two are basically, um, the first one is MAMP. Obviously, it's um, it's got an Apache server on. So if you do, for instance, like I do Word, uh, press web design, etc., you need to obviously work on a server. MAMP being obviously a local sort of web server. And... Um, so yeah, I mean, MAMP is, uh, you, you have two options, MAMP and MAMP Pro. I don't need the MAMP Pro, Pro option. MAMP is sufficient enough for me. And um, it just speeds up your whole workflow. The other one I use is Acquia Dev Desktop. Now, if any uh, Drupal developers out there, the um, Acquia Dev Desktop, it comes in Mac and Windows. Um, it's a wonderful piece of um, software for Drupal developers. It allows you to work on a local machine. You can do the same on MAMP. But um, the one thing that's really nice about um, Acquid Dev Desktop is it comes uh, pre-installed with Drush. Now, um, if anyone's used uh, Drush before, that's one way to really speed up your workflow on, on Drupal. So um, I definitely use that uh, quite a bit. So yeah, that comes to the end of my sort of top seven Mac apps that I use. People that are happy to pay $29 a month for Adobe, carry on this fantastic software. If you're on a Mac, try the seven that, I've, um, that, I, that I use every day. I don't need anything more than that, and I'm happy with what I've got. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know down below, subscribe, um, and I'll put uh, links to all of the apps that I've used at the bottom in the description. Anyway, take care. Till next time. Cheers.